Hello, this is uh, John Zin Chu, um, ASUS ROG PM, and uh, I'm here at Computex 2016 to introduce to you our newest proof of concept, the uh, Project Avalon. So, what we tried to do with this project is we tried to imagine what would happen if we redesigned and tried to, we tried to rethink DIY from the very beginning. And so, one of the issues that we kind of run into a lot when designing motherboards is that uh, the motherboard with its ATX specification has a lot of limitations on where different components can go and where they have to go in order to avoid conflicts with the uh, cases. So what we thought was, what could we make if we removed all these conflicts? And what we could make is actually Project Avalon. So over here, what you can see is, from the very top, if you remove the top cover, you can kind of see how the motherboard is actually elevated so it's closer to the exterior of the case. And so over here, you have very easy access to the CPU, to the M.2 slot, and to the DRAM for uh, easy installation. To the left over here, you have a very easy to remove cover that allows you to access the video card. And so this will fit any standard two slot graphic card up to 30 centimeters and uh, is compartmentalized for easy access. On the left over here, or on the right over here, we have the access for either a 240 radiator uh, AIO cooling so solution or a two 120 millimeter fans if, you're using, if you choose to use air cooling. And so currently, right now, we're demoing this with the EK Predator, which features quick disconnects. So you can have a very easy DIY um, uh, water cooling, full water cooling loop. On the front over here, this is where the SSD trays are. And so what this is designed for is completely trayless and easy installation. So to install the SSD, you just stick it in, close the tray, and you're done. To remove, you just pull out the SSD, and it's removed. So this is completely a new design that's uh, easy to install. Moving to the back end, we actually have the most interesting feature of this um, motherboard uh, case design. What we have is a modular I.O. system, which allows us to match different types of I.O.s for the different uh, components. And so, if you look at the workstation, we feature dual LAN, and with this extra space, the extra um, PCB space, we actually feature an external uh, M.2 slot so that you can run PCIe RAID with this uh, module installed. With the home theater, the extra PCB space is reserved for high-end audio circuitry for uh, better sound quality. Finally, the uh, back over here features a handle on the PSU. This is a 600 watt uh, SFX PSU, and um, it's designed with these latches so that you can kind of just pull out the PSU for uh, cableless assembly. So over here, I'll show you. This is the internal structure of the uh, motherboard itself. You can kind of see the shape of the motherboard is designed to kind of fit the case properly. And so that's why we're able to have front panel type C ports directly on the board itself. And so you can have front, uh, front panel type C where it's the most useful. You know, the uh, VGA uh, adapter board allows, is what allows us to kind of sink down the video card and raise up the motherboard while keeping it easy to install. The front panel features this type of SATA connector, and you've probably seen this existing in some of the more high-end cases. But one of the problem is that even though they feature this easy assembly uh, uh, structure, they don't. They still have to run cables back to your uh, motherboard. But with the beauty of the uh, the uh, designing the motherboard and the case in tandem, it allows us to make this kind of type of connection, which uses the PCB directly itself to transfer the power as well as the signal. Finally, uh, back to uh, the power portion. Um, the SFX design, the SF, SFX design is actually instead of using a modulized P, uh, PCB to use the um, the standard Molex connectors, we would like uh, you know PSU vendors to kind of change to this type of server grade edge connector, and in, and instead of using cables to connect it, it would just plug in directly right here and so to allow the power to be supplied to the rest of the system. And so that's how the power will be uh, transferred in. So this is kind of like a nice uh, kind of view of the 3D motherboard itself. Lastly, uh, I just wanted to go over the final module 
which was not demoed over here, is actually on this machine itself. This would be the I.O. configuration for the virtual reality port, which as you can see features many more USB ports so that you can ensure that you will have uh, enough ports for all your peripherals and your VR equipment and everything else. And so that's a uh, quick overview of the uh, ROG Project Avalon. We hope to hear you know, your feedback regarding this because you know, this is still in a very much a, just a proof of concept stage, a prototype stage. And so we're hoping with your feedback, you know, we can take this uh, new uh, kind of uh, design strategy even further to make something even more complete and easy to use. Um, and that's it for this, so thank you.